What is up, YouTube? Lazy Lama here, and here we are back with some Clicker Heroes. Uh, we're doing a bit of progress here. Uh, I did make a tad bit of progress without you guys. Uh, as you can see, I think we were on this one yesterday. If I'm not mistaken, we reset for that. I then did this reset. This is way longer than it could have been. Obviously, it wasn't very efficient, but I reset there, and now we're on this, which was a little overnight and whatnot. So it wasn't the max efficiency. And uh, you can see we're not quite insta-killing anymore, but we are going to be moving on to Midas. I just got Wep up the, there, we got Midas up to wherever he's at, but we're in Betty overnight. Um, I'm hoping that Midas is going to actually do more damage. I'm actually kind of questionable on that, so we're going to save real quick. Because I am slightly questionable on that whole thing. He should, with the big multiplier he's got. Uh, what exactly was she at again? 65 or 74? 274, and we're looking for higher. Definitely higher because they're into killing, so. Yeah, 275. Nice. Awesome. Throw the good old auto click around him. Uh, I could have skipped Betty, but uh, I w when I was playing yesterday, I decided it would be best because I was going to be AFK for a really long time. So it would have been the most DPS I could have done. So that's why I went with her instead of skipping Betty and going into Midas right off the bat. But we could have definitely skipped it. We are in active, remember, so once it starts slowing down, we're going to go active and push more zones. So this is going to be a pretty high-level push, uh, and especially because we're just about to be the highest zone ever. Actually, I might be starting this a little early. We might we might push upwards of 5k. Not quite, but we could get up that direction. That should be nice because we really need to make some progress. I mean, we're only 88 hours in, which isn't terrible to be on your 10th. That's technically half averages, average you know... 20 ascensions and we're at 10 already so we're basically halfway through but this is the law or the short half of it so it's how you think of it uh, I did just replace a relic we got rid of one of our admin relics for a kuma relic so now we've got a 5 kuma a 5 kuma and a 5 kuma so it's basically a little over 15 levels into kuma uh, I can go over the ancients here too even though we're going to be upgrading here in a bit Kuma's 38 but acting like 53 which is beautiful um, but you can see we've we've got some pretty big jumps on everything. They're like they're really high level from where, compared to where they were last episode, which is you know awesome. Just kind of showing them off real quick. It's beautiful. Again, we're gonna insta kill for a while. Uh, we might even get back into wep this run or next run. I don't know if we would do it this run. If we push high enough, if we get close to 5k, we can. If we can push back into wep, uh, that would be beautiful. But I always forget the number, but it's Midas like 12,500, I think. 550, something like that. Somewhere around there we can push back in. So we might not get it, that's still 2,500 levels, but uh, we're just breaking high zone ever. So and I'm not going to claim these till we stop like killing fast. And we'll, again, we might not because we're going to go active, and active pays out so little. Like you just, you don't get any money while you're active. It's so minuscule. I do really want to pop this, which is why I was mentioning it. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to hang on to it. Just so I don't have to break and wait a minute for Idol to come back up. It won't be worth it in the long run, because we're not going to be pushing all that significantly farther. We'll do it when we go active, but... Man, this is... We're making so much progress, I feel like. I can't wait till we're starting to get that though. Like that's, it still feels so far away. But it's gonna be awesome. How many s we've sacrificed in total? Is that how it always is? I'm curious. Is your, no, never. Mind. That would make sense. Cause that that doesn't go up. Does it go up? I wanna say is it always half of that? But no, I think that's just literally 100% coincidence. Uh, I've got two gold quests as well. This is a longer one. I don't remember how long. It wasn't that long, but he's level 21, so I think it was like a two hour. So it works out. This is literally just a five minute one that I did. So we'll be able to grab those as we're pushing. So it should be good. Can we have V on these? I wish it could. And just to see how much five uh, 3,000 levels on him would have been. We could like upgrade him on the really, really minuscule levels. Like, these don't cost any percent of that. That one will. But we still need 2,500 levels. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be anywhere close to that. I was just thinking because we do have, uh, if we use like the gold quest, how close could we get? But we wouldn't get anywhere. We're probably gonna need like over 400 to the ex like exponent to get there. So 
We'll be pushing for a while, but hey, you to see those hair cells just go up again. We should be expecting this run. Maybe we won't push as far as I'm thinking, because again, where they where they go from, we'd be expecting like high uh, three-digit trillions, like like these. Because again, it, it literally gets into like this pattern, like rhythm, where it's that's how it just is after you get through your first couple runs. But who knows? We might break a thousand trillion, which would be cool. I'd be cool with that. Can't wait till we start getting the max here and everything. I'm so excited just to push and like see how many hero souls we, or ancient souls we can get in like one run. But man, some beautiful progress. Uh, sorry guys, I haven't been streaming either. I know I've been wanting to do like the streams on uh, on the clan Sundays. I've just been really busy lately, and I mean, just YouTube alone takes up so much of my time. And, you know, I got other things to do other than just, you know, make content and stuff too. So it's, it's really stressful to try to keep up and stream all the time, like, with doing this. I mean, I know it's only once a week I'm trying to stream right now with it. But it's it definitely doesn't give me a lot of time to just kind of either relax or do other things I need to do. So, again, I, I do want to apologize for that because I know I was really going to aim for that. And, again, I do plan to do the streams every, you know, now and then that I can. But it's definitely not going to be every week like I wanted to at the moment. Just, you know. I don't have the time for it. If I did, I would. I mean, the weekend's my big time to catch up on videos I'm starting to fall behind on or get ahead on videos for the next week if I know I'm not going to be around um, as much. You know, I can edit a lot on the weekends, like render, like all this stuff, even upload and schedule. Like, I do a lot of that on the weekends. So it just doesn't give me tons of time upon, again, other my, my other weekend activities that I do. Uh, again, I would love to do it, but sadly, I can't. Something fun I did, uh, actually it was last weekend that I didn't talk with you guys about. And again, this isn't really probably the video to talk about it, but I'm going to anyways because you guys know I ramble. Um, <laughs> I started making mead, which is cool. Uh, for any of you guys that don't know what mead is, it's it's an alcoholic beverage. But it's uh, it's basically wine, but it's made with honey instead of like grapes and stuff. So it's cons it's called honey wine. That's, uh, that's the other name for it. And uh, I cannot wait for it to be done. Like it's just it's in the fermenting process right now. It's gonna be so awesome. I was actually thinking about doing like a video on it, but I don't know if you guys would be like interested in that. But me and a buddy were doing it, and uh, I might end up now that we kind of know what we're doing. And I already like you know a couple mistakes we've done, like things that, not even things that went wrong, but things that I know we, we can do better and differently next time. But I, if you guys want for any of you guys that are at this part in the video that feel interested in commenting on it, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. Um, it, you know, it'd be like. It wouldn't be a gaming thing, but I think it would be kind of interesting. Uh, again, I don't know if it's something you'd be interested, but you guys could see the process, and then uh, obviously we could, uh, you know, <laughs> do like a review on how good it is when we're done with it. But it, it takes it could take anywhere from like a month to two to ferment. So, and then you're supposed to let it age even longer. But I'm probably gonna like we're we may we're making like two gallons of it, which is actually quite a bit. Uh, it's pretty expensive to make, so it's it's rough. But it really, you save money in the long run. It, it is going to be fairly cheap, as expensive as it is up front. But it, I mean, two gallons would last quite a while. But we're splitting it between the two of us, like we went half on it. And then I'm I'm thinking about taking like half a gallon and using that just to have people try and drink. And then uh, I'm probably going to age the other half or something. But I'm up in the air on that. But again, back to Cooking Heroes. I don't want to get too off subject there. <laughs> Uh, again, probably not the greatest video. I should do like put that into like a channel update, which I gotta do somewhat soon. I just want to kind of go over and again thank you guys for all the you know support and progress we've been making because it's been ridiculous. And I, again, I just don't know how to thank you guys enough for it. Some of you guys that like every video, because I know there's some of you that do. I mean, not a lot of people honestly like actually hit the like button on the videos, but. A lot of you guys comment on every video, and I know there's some of you guys that like PM me and stuff and told me that you know you guys like like every video and stuff, and you know that's awesome. I mean, just even watching like and coming back and subbing like that's just amazing that you guys like the content so much. I get so many like nice comments. Very rarely do we have that one one dude who just is you know <laughs> not cool. But again, I do apologize that we don't have the clan space right now. We're going through some stuff with one of the clans. Uh, one of the officers kind of was having some issues and, like, 
left and now it's not even in the discord so now i don't know what's going on we're probably going to disabandon it it's llama empire if you're in llama empire if you're not in discord you wouldn't know uh i would probably join discord or at least watch the videos because you guys will have first spot on but i'm going to be opening probably a new clan anywhere from one to three new clans because uh, i want to keep i want to kind of keep it in increments of two at this point and i know there's a ton of people that want to join i feel so bad not being able to accept them uh, and for everyone who wants me to like try to sort through the clans and stuff to get like people around the same like zones that is literally going to be impossible with all the clans we have and like trying to move people around it's just not going to happen i can say that right now not enough people around at the same time to like have someone leave to so someone can join and then the other person go to the other one it's it's not going to happen i mean uh, I may talk to some of the officers about trying to do it, even collab together, like when I'm not on, if like they're on and like the people they need to have move are all on, possibly, but again, it's not going to happen, we're not going to get zones right, we're just going to deal with it, follow the clan sheet, it'll show you kind of where it is, if, you know, pe not everyone's going to be able to hurt the boss or attack the boss anyways, like it's just the way things are going to work, uh, again, as much as I'd love for it to be zone related it's just it's not gonna happen i mean we'll set at some point we'll set like if people really fall behind like for example in our clan here like there's no way that these two guys ever catch up so they're gonna be moved out and we're are literally going to only accept people above five thousand in this clan uh, and again we're gonna start doing that type of thing on uh some other clans as well when the average people get up to a certain point then we'll make it like oh you can only be this high but like for example like real and honestly zeo like are way too high to even be in this clan to begin with so like we're keeping them like i'm not getting rid of them but like i'm just saying like we're never gonna catch up to them so like they should be kicked out because like if you were really thinking that way like that's the only way like that makes any sense if we were to try to keep zones similar we're not gonna do that though uh we're gonna end up setting minimals like i said on clans and again the average group before the clan is for example in this clan if say me up starts to get up to like 10k and these guys all fall behind and they're all like you know maybe seven something k at the time uh for example like all these guys underneath we'll probably get to the point where we'll only accept people above you know again i'm gonna try to keep it somewhere around my zone just to kind of keep the series interesting but again we're keeping it like 5k for accepting in this one right now and i might actually make it 6k just so people come in like a little ahead of everyone but i don't know we're gonna probably do 5k but I'm working on getting officers. I've already got one officer, one of my buddies. He's not actually in the clans right now. You guys would know him from Balloon Tower Defense if you watch it. Chendi, he's, uh, he wants to be an officer, I think. Uh, I think I have... I, I haven't asked them, but I'm pretty sure I know um, one to two people that are already in Llama Empire that would be cool with being officers um, to then basically rerun the new and improved Llama Empire, which won't be called Llama Empire, but um, run a new clan there and then... Again, I can even keep a placeholder in one if I need to and kind of manage it, but I don't like doing that if I don't have to. But there's two people I could probably get at least. So, I mean, we could probably get three clans open. Uh, again, to move people from Lam Empire out from that clan that is now basically dead and out of there. This is taking forever. We're not even going to get to the point of uh, resetting. I'm just saying. We're not resetting. I honestly did start this too early. But I like I like the progress. You guys can see this. Like the hero cells go up. And we can just jibber jabber. And I don't have to worry about like setting all these up and stuff. So we're just going to keep going with it. I'm six. I could cut and come back. But just so you can see like the re the spending of the ancient souls. But we're not going to do it. We're just going to we're gonna push this. It's going to be a pushing episode. I'm probably going to push. I mean... Again, looking the way we've been jumping, like, that was about 500. That was ridiculous, like, 800, but this is, like, 800. Uh, before that was 500. And before that was 600. Okay. So, could we expect a 500 difference here? I'm seeing if there's, like, a pattern to this as well. Because it seemed like it was, like, 500, 800, 500, 800, and then this would technically be a 500-ish push. Again, I'm rounding. Just kind of throwing it around the area. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like we're going to, honestly, maybe push farther, though. Because we still have clicks to do. And we still have the gold to do. I'm, I'm going to hold these gold till the end. Uh, but we did get our new new guy, Jesse. Nothing cool. Just a normal common. Uh, I honestly thought about just sending commons, like, like, not even training commons up anymore. Like, I debated about it. Like, if we have other low levels that I can send out for recruiting, like, just dismissing them and, like, getting uncommons and up but even uncommon like i really want to start cycling to try to get leroy jenkins like so i, I might get to the point where it's gonna suck because i'm only gonna be like have three in use but if i use like one for just recruiting if i'll get a decent one with recruiting speed 
Uh, I'll probably wait till I get one with recruiting speed. But if I can get like, imagine if I got lucky and get like a rare with recruiting speed or something, ten percent faster, that'd be cool. But uh, just kick anyone that's under rare and just cycle until we get a rare or Leroy Jenkins. I don't know what Leroy Jenkins is, but a rare or up. Just get rid of uh, commons and uncommons. I mean, honestly, uncommons isn't bad. Like eight percent is not bad. It's three percent higher than that. And I mean, it's, I guess rares are kind of crap too if you think about it, because it's only two higher. But I mean, I'm not against keeping a rare. I would really love, like, I think it's Fabled and up. I think it goes Fabled, Mythical, Legendary, Transcendent, right? I think that's right. We're still in the killing, so I don't want to break this. Uh, basically into the killing, not quite. But we're definitely going to get above 100 trillion. I think we're going to break 500 zones, like, higher. Because there's, I mean, clicking, there's, we're going to get way over 200 zones, I feel like. We're getting at least 300 zones. And we still have these to, we can actually do this since we're not quite into the killing. If we do those and we pop those into Midas, it's going to bring him up quite a bit. But we can start clicking anytime soon. We, let's, just, let's just do it now. Let's start clicking. With that, a little bit of a combo start to build up and the damage gets unreal. And let's do Power Surge, Energize, Dark Ritual, Reload. For that bit of a boost. And we'll just let that sit. Again, you'll see that we don't, don't get much gold anymore, which is like the only crappy thing. You just get crap gold when you're uh, active, and that's the only thing. That's why I always tell people, because some people are like, oh, go all, all in active late game, it's better. It's like, I get it, and it might be like, you're not going to get much farther, though, because you can't get more gold. Like, you're not going to progress like that. The hybrid is ten times better. Again, super late game, like, you're literally in your last, like, two runs of your transcendence. I, again, I haven't tested it yet, but I could see going full active, like, both resets or whatever into that. Even like three and like, you know, you're just about done. You only need a couple more angels. So I could see it maybe just to push your zones up a tad. Because your zones, your zones, I still don't think it would go up significantly more than hybrid. Even with the extra damage you'd get, like, just because, first of all, it would take longer. Uh, especially if you went full active. Because some people are saying they're like full active. And that's, honestly, I'm going to tell you this right now. Full active is, is not smart. You take so much longer to level up clicking even if you're insta clicking like one shot clicks takes longer than an insta kill on idle and a thou if you go and test it with a thousand zones is a fairly decent difference uh and then multiply that by however many zones you're on and however many thousand zones you're on and it it adds up like maybe be a couple of minutes but that that's a big difference it makes more sense to be idle plus you get more money so by the time you get up there you can then push higher because you have them higher levels like I don't know. That's that's my argument for it, and I'll stand by it 100%. All right, maybe we will. Uh, <laughs> Active's not making as much of a difference as I thought right now. I mean, I think it's gonna it's gonna kill like this a lot longer than Ida would, but uh, I don't think we're gonna push as far as I thought we would. I mean, we broke the 100 trillion, but it might be about 500 zones. Can okay, we have the quest to do? And this is a pretty large, hefty quest there. But uh. Yeah, we'll see. We're running out of time, so I don't even think I'm going to get to the quest on this video. But I'm hoping to push it, push out quite a bit. I mean, I want to break 5k soon. I mean, our highest one ever was 6,200, so we got to come up on that semi-soon. We said that we can't collect this. This isn't killed yet. Uh, it's pretty early when I'm recording this, as you can tell. So we've only got uh, a lot of people attacked, but we have, um, you can see that Zio actually does damage, which is nice. I think Weezy's rat made of two. Yeah, Weezy's rat did a tad bit of that. Not much. Because this... That should have went down exactly like 9,800. No, never mind. Weezy's rat didn't do anything. I lied. Yeah, no. Yeah, never mind. Definitely not. Maybe, maybe a couple numbers. Maybe four numbers. But I don't, I don't really care to actually try to figure out. But he's up there to where he could be doing damage soon. Which is cool. Ronin's pulling pretty far ahead of us. I can give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what's going on, number wise. I think I already did. But uh, Ronin's got like a thousand zones. They're really close together here. Uh, Zio's kind of catching up the reel, but not really. Mama Lovers is still at a decent pace behind me. Noodle's been just. He plays, but he's very just, he, he's casual about it. Ares hasn't moved up any bit. I don't think he's attacked in a couple days now, to be honest. Ares might be a little inactive. 
Alright, see now we're slowing down. So this is where first gold quest comes into play. And I say another gold quest, please. Now we'll go for two hours for a relic. That levels us up quite a bit. Gold quests are insane for high level pushes. Even five minute ones make a huge difference. And this one, this other one's super big. I mean, look how much extra gold that is. We're at 340 there, and that's 333. And again, it keeps about that like ratio uh, leveling up. So you always want to hold on to them as long as you can, to where it's like starting to like slow down and really mess up with your times. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, please smack the like button. And as always, catch you guys later. Peace.